remove each other from one another and actually let ourselves be grounded in what our purpose is and recognizing the outcomes of what happened because of the tie vote on many of these items. I hope what happens is that everyone, myself included, will, you know, extend an olive branch to one another on behalf of our students. So we have to stop divisiveness. We have to, every one of us, listen to hear and understand and be willing to compromise in whatever way is necessary to best serve our students. That's what okay. I think happens. <laughs> so I don't know about a consent agenda. Mm -hmm. And I understand that that's so, sort of at the bottom of a lot of, of this. Can you just share with, because that that circulated all over the place, could you share with people what a consent agenda is? Yes, generally speaking, and I should say one more thing about your question about what happens next. What literally happens next is we have another board meeting that was already planned for Thursday, okay. and that was to do different work, but we certainly know that this work is of critical importance to make sure that we can have the district running and have it ready and continue to work through the summer to deliver food to students and all those things. So that meeting on Thursday, first up to bat, we'll be trying to resolve these issues. Also, I have asked that the administration submit to the county clerk that we will have a meeting each day until this matter is resolved. 